Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I am making my homemade pizza dough by itself instead of a pizza dough slash pizza video. Um, in front of me I have in the bowl two and a fourth teaspoons or one packet of yeast. I'm using the instant dry yeast. You can use the whichever one you want. I'm going to use half a cup room temperature water. I, I, you can use well water, just don't use tap water from the city. And I'm going to get that started. I'm going to use half a teaspoon of sugar. Now I use my yeast a lot, so I'm not, so I know it's good, so I'm not going to wait the five or so minutes to see if it puffs up. But normally you would wait if you don't know how good it is. And to keep your yeast longer, you can keep it in the freezer. And I'm going to use one and a fourth to one and a half cup, uh, wait a minute. Is it one? Yep, one and a fourth until one and a half cups of flour. So I'm going to start with one cup. And I'll get half a cup ready just in case. I'm going to use half a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to use one teaspoon of olive oil. Okay, I'm going to start mixing that in. Some more in. All right, I'm going to go to my hands now. Now when it comes to that last second half a cup, add it slowly so you don't over add. Alright, I'm going to put a little bit on the table. And a little bit on my hands. And it depends where you're located on how much of the full one and a half cups of flour that you'll use. And you'll knead it for about eight to 10 minutes. The more you make it, the more you'll know when it's done, just by feel.
I made some uh, pizza sauce in a previous video. And that goes really good with this. Get that out of my way now. Nice and get nice and soft. longer You get a real good workout, I'll give it that, making dough. That look pretty good. All right. Let's check this again. Looking pretty good. All right. I am going to uh, clean that bowl, wheel it up a little bit, and uh, let it rise. All right. The bowl is clean. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in it. Get it into a nice little ball. Wheel it up. 
Cover it with saran wrap, which I forgot over there, across the room. So I'm going to quickly wash my hands from the oil. And grab that saran wrap real quick. All right. We are going to let this sit in a warm area for at least 20 minutes. So it doubles. And there we go. All right, so we will be back in about 20 minutes. And uh, I will clean my mess and then I'll show you from there. All right, it's been 20 minutes, and it is nicely doubled. And probably then some, considering how warm it is in here. All right, what I do is I dust my workspace so the dough doesn't stick to it. You can use regular flour. You can use um, corn flour or corn meal. And I'm going to use some cornmeal. And I mix it up usually. <coughs> cornmeal and corn flour. Alright. Now, I'm going, you can use a rolling pin, which it helps it get it nice and thin. Nice thin crust that's completely even. You can, or you can just do a normal. I do not do hand tossed. So, but you can flap it back and forth and use the weight of it. Or you can put it on your table, spread it out. I usually start it in the air and then I start stretching it out on the workspace. Now you can stretch this out however big you I want to apologize. My battery died. So I couldn't finish showing you me stretching out the dough for getting it ready. So I thought I'd give you a little peek at what it looks like as I have it topped and everything and ready to go in the oven. But um, I hope you enjoy um, trying this pizza crust. It is by far one of my favorites. Um, you, when you put your pizza together, you, you know, you, you preheat your oven at 450 and you cook it however long it needs to be in the oven till the top is golden and bubbly and all that stuff. So hopefully, uh, you enjoy this recipe, like I said, and I apologize. I thought my battery was fully charged, but I guess it wasn't. So I didn't want to just scrap this because and start over. So there, there it is. Um, and I will see you in another video. And have a good night.